The survival of patients with most malignancies has improved over the last decade, but the survival of patients with hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC, remains very poor, with five-year survival rate of only around 10%. This poor outcome is related to late detection when the tumors are not amenable to curative therapies. Guidelines from professional organizations recommend HCC surveillance for at-risk populations with ultrasounds performed every 6 to 12 months. Cancer biomarkers were not recommended because the most widely used marker, alpha fetal protein or AFP, has poor sensitivity and specificity. In this same study, we compare the accuracy of AFP and DCP, which is abbreviated to 4 desgamma carboxy prothrombin, a marker that is widely used in Japan in the early detection of hepatocellular carcinoma. In addition, we examined if AFP or ultrasound triggered the initial workup that led to the diagnosis of early stage HCC. This study utilized clinical data and blood samples collected in the HALT-C trial. The HALT-C trial enrolled 1,050 patients with hepatitis C and bridging fibrosis or cirrhosis who failed to achieve sustained virologic response after treatment with pegylated interferon and ribavirin. The patients had AFP testing every three months and ultrasound every year at the clinical sites. Patients with increasing AFP or a new lesion detected on ultrasound underwent further evaluation with CT or MRI. A nested case control study of 39 XCC cases and 77 match controls were performed. Serial blood samples collected every three months from the cases and controls were tested for DCP levels at a central lab. Serial AFP and DCP values were analyzed in order to determine the sensitivity and specificity of these two markers alone and in combination in differentiating XCC cases from the match controls at various time points during a 12-month period prior to the diagnosis of XCC. We found that when we use a low cutoff for DCP, which is on 40 milliunits per ml, the sensitivity and specificity at time zero, which is the time of XCC diagnosis, was some 74% and 86% respectively. Similarly, when we use a low cutoff for AFP, which is 20 nanograms per ml, the sensitivity and specificity at time zero for XCC diagnosis uh, was um, 61% and 81% respectively, being slightly lower than DCP, but not statistically significantly different. The sensitivities for both markers dropped to less than 50% when we use higher cutoff, such as um, 150 for DCP, and 200 for AFP, the more common cutoff used in clinical practice. When DCP and AFP values in month minus 12, which is some 12 months before the diagnosis of um, XCC were analyzed, the sensitivities for these two markers dropped to 43% and 47%, indicating that these markers would not be very helpful in detecting cancers at an earlier time point. When we analyze whether rising AFP or a new lesion in ultrasound trigger further evaluation that led to the diagnosis of early stage XCC, we found that um, ultrasound was the trigger in 58% of cases, a rising um, AFP to double the baseline value in 21%, and the remaining 21% was triggered by a combination of tests, which oftentimes include CT as well as MRI. Thus, in conclusion, our results show that neither AFP nor DCP were sufficiently accurate for XCC surveillance. We did find that these two markers were complementary, suggesting that um, prospective studies looking at a combination of these two markers should be conducted to determine uh, if this would lead to a better um, diagnosis of early stage um, XCC. Our findings support that ultrasound should be the primary tool for XCC surveillance, but that ultrasound was not perfect 
even when done in academic liver centers, indicating that there is a need for biomarkers to complement ultrasound for surveillance of HCC. Thank you.